Are you uh, Dax Allen? Nice to meet you, Allen. man. Allen. Okay, yeah. I saw your simulation. Uh, oh, sweet. YouTube podcast. I really do you enjoy it. Do this? Oh, nice. Yeah, let's chat. I kind of. You did, did a little dive. dive? Cool. I, did a little bit of dive. I gotta get a dive into Dax now. Joe, you guys here? Improv workshop time. Yeah. Awesome. All right, it'll be super fun. Good stuff. All right, all right. Let's let's come closer for the improv workshop. Can you guys come to this table? So thanks for coming to the improv workshop, everyone. I really appreciate it. My name's Alan Sakian. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I host and produce a bunch of different things, science comedy shows, future festivals, fireside chats, all this kind of cool stuff. And I love meeting epic people like you who come to cool things like Dent. So I'm excited to get to know you guys better. This is a improv session. So we're gonna be doing like a little bit of quick explanation kind of of some of the improv and like the neuroscience behind improv very quick. And we're just gonna get right in activities. So we're gonna get the juices flowing or the blood going. We're gonna be interacting with each other and actually putting these things to practice. So if you're not ready to put things to practice, the door's over there. All right, so neuroscience behind improv. A lot of people have said that improv has, is the root of creativity. Improv is, takes all of the self-referential thinking that we have when we're sitting there and we're thinking about ourselves and how we look in front of other people. When you do that, you're not actually able to maximize your improvisational ability. So you get in a state of flow, and Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi is the guy that wrote the book about flow, and it's really accurate. How many of us get lost doing our activity and we just wake up like an hour and a half later, and we're, yeah, yeah, and you're just like, whoa, I forgot to call mom, I forgot to eat, I forgot to do all these things, but boom, I executed so much stuff. It feels amazing, yeah? Yes. Chat, yeah, I love it, there we go, there we go. There we go, yes, 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 awesome. So, I want us to get, let's all stand up. Let's all stand up. All right, and now let's do a little bouncing, a little bit of bouncing. Yeah, yeah, bounce, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, just a little bouncing like that, it's good. All right, now I want us to say dent. dent. Okay, but, I, but we're, I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then we're all gonna go dent. Okay, ready? One, two, three, dent! dent. One, two, three, dent. dent! One, two, three, dent. dent! Dent the universe, baby. All right, so now pick a partner. Pick a partner. Okay, who doesn't have a partner? Pick, good. All right, everyone's paired up. Okay, cool. So now give yourselves, give yourselves a little bit of room so you guys in the front come out a little bit. Come out, in the, come out a little bit in the front. Uh-huh, perfect, keep calm. Maybe some people take that middle alley area. You guys can stay back there, perfect. So now, all right, now this, this activity, we're gonna start very easy, very easy. This is called the mirror game. I'm sure many of you have probably played this before. Come on, come on, what's your name, what's your Joey. name? Joey, Alan, come over here, come over oh, here, right. come over here. All right, so the mirror game is, I'm gonna just stand and just, and you're gonna mirror every single one of my actions, okay? So if I lift my hand, you're gonna try and lift my hand. You're only looking at their eyes. You're only looking at their eyes. So I might lift a foot, I might maybe like turn sideways or something. I might try and like wiggle around my fingers or like do something crazy and see if the person can fall. But you're trying to just watch their eyes. And so just pick one person, do it for about 60 seconds, and then we'll switch, okay? Have fun with it, okay? All right, all right, all right. so you go back to the partner. Look at those guys. Okay, yeah, let's do it together. Javier. Javier, Alan, nice to meet you, man. All right, so you go, I'll mirror you, I'll mirror you. All right, whoa, that was fast. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing so hard. Wait, am I supposed to uh, make it? Um, a lot of phase there. <laughs> okay. Ah! Yeah, yeah, I'm going backwards. It's all good. Um, all right. You can go if you want. You want to try it? Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we can. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that one. All right. Let me. Um, all right. Let's switch. Switch. Other person. All right, if you have already, keep going. Go. If you've already switched, keep going. Keep going. Um, I have a whole like. I have a whole. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing oh, perfect. Then you can be Javier's partner. How are you doing? Hi Sarah, I'm Alan, nice Hi, to meet you. Yay! All right, so an improv workshop where we're talking just a little bit about the neuroscience of improv, but then we just jump right into activity. So this is a mirror activity. So let her, let her roll, so re lead. And 
and look at just the eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You guys are great. Give yourselves a round of applause. This is really good stuff. Really good stuff. All right. Now come on in into one big circle. Now it's time for one big circle. They're doing this whole hand thing where they put their... What do you do? You put your middle fingers in and you go like this or something? Here's the church and here's the, the people. Open your hands and there's the, pe there the people. There, there are the people, yeah. <laughs> That's old. That is, yeah. It's a, so what do we, um, let's, let's close the circle off. Close the circle off. That's good. Okay, I'll stand right here. Okay, so now the, 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 the first sort of, they're still doing it. They're, lo <laughs> they're loving this activity. How do I teach others how to do that? So, all right, so this activity, uh, is called, um, what is it? What is it called? Oh, move like this is the name of it, okay? Move like this. So we're gonna go around in a circle, I'll start, and then we'll go to my right and we'll just each take turns doing this. But so the activity goes something like this. My name is Alan and I move like this. And you just pick whatever action you want. And then the whole group goes, his name is Alan and he moves like this. And then we keep going around the circle, okay? So let's practice together. My name is Alan and I move like, but you, you guys do it after I do it, okay? Because you won't know what I'm doing, right? You know? Okay. Uh, now you know what I'm doing. Now I'll, ch I'll change it up. My name is Alan and I move like this. His name is Alan and he moves like this. Perfect. All right. And go ahead. Keep it up. My name is Zach and I move like this. Ooh. His name is Zach and he moves like this. My name is Kate and I move like this. Her name is Kate and she moves like this. Ooh. His name is Ray and he moves like this. My name is Rob and I move like this. His name is Rob and he moves like this. My name is Win and I move like this. His name is Win and he moves like this. His name is Josh and he moves like this. <laughs> His name is Doug and he moves like this. My name is Joey and I move like this. His name is Joey and he moves like this. His name is Dax and he moves like this. His name is Greg and he moves like this. His name is Dave and he moves like this. Her name is Alice and she moves like this. His name is Bruce and he moves like this. My name is Chris and I move like this. Woo! Her name is Chris and she moves like this. Uh, my name is Javier and I move like this. <laughs> His name is Javier and he moves like this. Woo! Oof. Her name is Sarah and she moves like this. Nice. Round of applause for everyone. Good stuff. What did you guys think of that activity? Let's get some feedback. I, I, I thought you were going to have us remember everything before. And, and uh, it was <laughs> so there is a whole nother one like that. And then usually it gets like seven or eight people before. It, it, it fails, but it it's fun. Apart. It does fall apart, but it's a fun one too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, exactly. You got names, you're signing an action, there's like group harmony. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, all right, so this one, again, we're gonna be in a circle. This is one word at a time storytelling. Yes, <laughs> one word at a time storytelling. So I'm, you're only gonna say one word and we're gonna go, let's go to the left now. We'll go to the left and you're just gonna say one word and you're gonna try and make a sensible story, okay? Let's try and make a fun story about how to dent the universe or even make one silly, whatever it may be. But don't take more than a second or two to come up with your word. Don't think too much. Go with that instinct of what you want to say, okay? All right. Once. I. Just. Two. No. But. It. Jump. Over. Very hot. <laughs> Sad. Face. Plant. <laughs> okay, re story restart. Okay, story restart. Story. Sentence. It's great. Okay, start one more. Start one more. James Joy. That's the last one. That's the dancers. Are. Good job, everyone. Awesome. That, we actually made, it took three tries, but we made a full, <laughs> comprehensive, fairly comprehensive sentence. Very good. Okay. Let's do, okay, this one's, this one's really fun. So, um, I'll go, I'll go, actually, I need to send someone else in the center first. So, okay, volunteer, Zach. Yep. Yes. Come into the center. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was Zach, round applause. Thank you. Accepting, yeah, that's it, that's it. Great job. Well, I could done that, yeah. <laughs> So we'll spend maybe like 30 or 60 seconds each in the middle. And so what's gonna happen in the middle is you're just gonna receive rapid fire questions from people on the outside that are either silly or serious. Like I could tell you something like, how many diapers do you wear per week? Six. And see how quick he answered, right? He's just like six. He didn't even think about it. Exa yeah, he's like, that's the actual amount I wear. Uh, um, and then I could, I could also ask, somebody else could be like, what's the definition of time? You'd be like, Something that flows backwards. Something that flows backwards. So, um, and don't necessarily wait for him to even finish his answer to the previous question. So just keep, keep throwing him questions. All right, let's go for a minute. Go. What do octopuses dream about? Electric sheep. <laughs> How many colors are in a rainbow? 17. What time is it? Nine. What do you plug in the toaster? The ceiling. What's my middle name? Henry. What's in your fridge? Nothing. What's your why, favorite piece of clothes? Because the black ones were thirty. What did you do once you joined? What's the highest you've ever been? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you standing in the middle? I was volunteered. What's the lowest you've been? Uh, <laughs> negative one hundred and eight feet. What's Where, what what seems strange? Uh, things. How many moons does Saturn have? Nine. Why does Saturn have? Nine? Because the cows had to jump over something. Ooh. How Where are you going tomorrow? Where are you going tomorrow? Uh, to Dent. Yeah. How many yeah. sardines are there? Uh, about 12. What color is your puppy? Black. All right. Yeah, good stuff. Yes. Good stuff. All right. Let's... Kate? Yes, Kate. Come on into the middle. All right, so you're familiar with the activity now? Seems pretty. Okay, cool, cool. And we have, <laughs> it's like, I'll go to the other side of the circle. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's start it up. 
How What's weird your, is this? Very. What's your third favorite color? Orange. What are those? What's the capital of Montana? Georgia. <laughs> How many white people live in Georgia? <laughs> Why did Trump release the memo? Why did Trump release the memo? Why? Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Yeah. I don't even know. How much wood can wood chuck chuck? Many pieces of wood. Will the Patriots cheat in the Super Bowl? Of course. <laughs> Dolphins or whales? Dolphins. Yes. Light or invisibility? Definitely light. Are you scared of elevators? Horrified. How did you spend your last Christmas? I don't remember. How many kids do you have? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How many plants years are there? Um, no doubt. How'd you get here? I called. <laughs> All right, Kate. Yeah. Good job. All right, come on in. What's your name again? Raymond. Ray. Ray? All right. All right, Ray. Here we go. Why'd you pick that shirt today? It was hanging in the closet. How many ears do you have? Four. <laughs> How often do you shave your head? Uh, every week. What do you What do you prefer in a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Redheads. Tall. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite beer? IPA. What's the car you would never buy? You go. Take a drink. Jim Martin. Red or white wine? Red, Red or white wine? Red. Favorite person you met at Favorite sport? What confuses you most? Oh, sorry. Favorite sport? Favorite. Favorite sport? Sport. Uh, cricket. Is consciousness localized in the brain? Yes. What confuses you most? Confuses me most? Uh, 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 <laughs> physics. Why did you choose improbable wine tasting? <laughs> Standing here? Crazy. <laughs> All right, Ray. Good job. What's your name again? Rob. Rob. Awesome. All right, Rob. Ready to go? What's the average airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? 622. Why is your name Rob? My dad. Who tied your shoes? <laughs> What's your favorite kind of cloud? Cumulus. <laughs> How do you start a company? Cash. What confuses you? Most things confuse me. Who opened that in yellow? It must be the pigmentation in this. Yeah. Who owns the centralized banks in every country? The man. <laughs> Are you dizzy yet? No, not dizzy. If I give you a pogo stick, would you get dizzy? Yes. How many pogo sticks do you own? Zero. Why? Never tried it. Favorite ice cream flavor? Rocky Road. What's the fastest you've gone in a car? 107. Favorite Weird Al song? Ooh. <laughs> Tough one. <laughs> I can't think of a weird Al song. Favorite Kanye song? Kanye, I don't know Kanye song. Oh no! <laughs> favorite song? Yeah. Uh, my favorite song? Maybe U2? Something by U2? Mm -hmm. Why U2? My wife's a big U2 fan. How about you? I, I became a U2 fan because of my wife. All right, good stuff. Good job, Rob. And next up? Wayne. Wayne? Wayne. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Wayne. Where are you from? Boise. Batman or Spider-Man? Neither. Do you own a tuxedo? Yes, but you don't want to see it. Why not? <laughs> it's way too fun. <laughs> How many mothers do you have? Three. Why are you here? I got lost. Cat or dog? Where were you going? Uh, somewhere up north. Cat or dog? Both at the same time. Lots of rats. Would you rather be mauled by one tiger or one million mouses? One million mouses. Why? I'd pet them all. You'd pet Is the plural of mouse mice? Or mice? <laughs> <laughs> if you were stranded on a deserted island, who would you take with you? Uh, <coughs> my pet. Would you rather be really tall or really small? Tall. What's the most food you've eaten at one time? What's the last book you read? <laughs> uh, All right, good stuff.
job, everyone. Good job. Josh. All right. Because it's cute. Do you like babies? Only the ugly ones. How do you move? Like this. <laughs> Are you truthful? No. If Rocky wasn't with Bullwinkle, who would he be with? The road. Can you do an imitation of Scooby Doo? No. <laughs> do you think genetic engineering is something to worry about? Yes. Why? Because it would be fun for a lot of people to genetically engineer themselves. <laughs> and that's scary. Do you want a brain chip? Go ahead. What's your favorite position in the bedroom? Well, all of them. <laughs> Early or late Frankenstein? Frankenstein? Wittgenstein. Early or late Frankenstein? I don't know. I'm not understanding. <laughs> Woo! Good job. Everybody, I'm Joey. Yeah. All right, Joey. All right. How do you, why do you dress so good? Genetics. <laughs> <laughs> If you had your own Super Bowl, what sort of food would you put in it? Nachos. If you were a superhero, what superpower would you have? Invisibility. What's the flower for? Style. Okay. What's your favorite thing about balls? Crab cakes. What's your favorite brand? I don't know. Least favorite movie? Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Why? I had to choose. <laughs> <laughs> you had a chance to go to a play or a movie. Play. What's your favorite play? Uh, Raising the Star. What's your favorite field of science? Biology. Why? Uh, it's great to figure out life and how things work together. And I'm not bad at chemistry. <laughs> yeah, good job, good job. Good job. All right, Dax. We got Dax up. Dax? Why are you named Dax? My parents. Is that short for something? No. Do you go to McDonald's often? All the time. Is that ever weird? <laughs> I say I own it. Is Dax long for something? No. Why, why would it be weird? Why are we nine innings in the baseball? Uh, that's all I have. Yeah. Should Pluto be a <laughs> Should Pluto be a state? In this country, yes. What would the currency on Pluto be? Cold. What would that convert to in Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> 500, but now it's only one. <laughs> What's your favorite technology? Uh, Apple. What's your favorite vacation spot? Here. Don't you find it weird that we put things in our mouth and comes out our butt? It is pretty strange. Okay. Where do you want to go? Somewhere possible. What happens to that food that goes into our... <laughs> 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 What's your first girlfriend? Why'd you break up? She's not my girlfriend. She didn't like it, but I didn't like her. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job. All right. What are they doing here? <laughs> <laughs> we asked the questions. We asked the questions, so... <laughs> I launch it off. There you go. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. What's your hate of color? None. What's your favorite time of day? Morning. What do you do in the morning? Drink lattes. If you could travel back in time, where would you go? <laughs> Why? Because I. I talked every morning with Albert Einstein while I was waiting for the bus to go to school. True story. Is that actually true? Yes. <laughs> what did you talk about? I don't remember. I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know and say, that's Albert Einstein. I can't go. Where were you when President Kennedy got shot? Entering the office. 
State University, president of the State University of Rockport, in Rockport, New York. So, Try to close my first new account. Do you have kids? Three. What do they do? One sells reps computer parts. One runs the entrepreneurship program at the University of Hawaii. And the third is a social media strategist. And normally Which one's best? <laughs> Pardon? Which one's the best one? They're equal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good questions. Good answers. <laughs> You're ready for that one. They're equal. They're equal. They're equal. <laughs> That's good. Good session. Good job, Doug. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Doug. Good job. Name? Greg. Greg. All right, Greg's up. What's Greg backwards? <laughs> Where to next? What's that? Where to next? Um, Super Bowl. Why are you here? Uh, because the two founders invited me. What when did, did you like? leave Where from Tacoma? Omaha, Nebraska. What? When did you leave Tacoma? When I leave Tacoma? Yeah. Uh, 18 months ago. What's your favorite mode of transportation? Car. Would you use a jetpack? Yes. <laughs> Who'd you vote for in the last presidential election? I see mature and moderate thoughts. Are you loyal? Yes, very. Have you ever met Warren Buffett? Yes. How many people could you stack in a dog? What kind of cards do you Ask a question. Ask a question. Ask a question. What career do you wish you'd had? Uh, film production. Have you been in a film? No, but I produced some. Did you know that you look a little bit like George Lucas? <laughs> no, but I hear a lot of people tell him that he looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, good stuff, good stuff, good answers, good questions. David. All right, Dave. Here we go. David, do you have the symbol? <laughs> <laughs> what is the least favorite letter in your name? I. Why don't you like I? Because it's long and pointy. What's wrong with long and pointy things? They Have you ever been stabbed by an I? Yes. Are Should you we? Glad there's no I in team. <laughs> uh, yes. Should we colonize Mars? Uh, yes. Why? Why not? Would you move there? Maybe. Do you like to be hot or cold? Cold. Was maybe a cop-out answer? Probably. Skateboard or rollerblades? No brothers. Sisters? One sister. How long is your hair? Oh, uh, probably about that big. Goes to the chia bag. What's your favorite lift? Uh, ooh, ski lift. Uh. <laughs> Amazing! Good job, get us fast. Your voice is gone. Yes. Okay. I have to allow. Yeah. That's right. That's good. Six or twelve. Favorite actor. Favorite actor. Where are you from? Kenya. Why'd you decide on the hairstyle? What? Why'd you decide on the hairstyle? I didn't see it. Why did you leave Kenya? What do you like most about America? Are you worried about North Korea? No, I'll finish them. What do you want to learn? Because of this moment? <laughs> what food do you miss from home? <laughs> What's your golly? Corn mash. Can you spice it here? Sometimes if I get the flour. Spicy? No, spicy, not spicy hot. Nice! <laughs> Woo! Bruce? Bruce! Here we go. Ask away. Bruce Banner or Bruce Wayne? Wayne. Batman or Spider Man? Favorite what superhero. Oh, Batman. Miguel Welch or Natalie Wood. Who 
Batman versus Superman. Oh, no, I say now. If someone If someone could pour liquid on your chest, what would you choose? Honey. And who would do it? Oh, anyone. <laughs> <laughs> if you could take any class, what would it be a class in? Uh, the later we can... If you could drive any car. Oh, uh, Fiat 500. Would you drive it backwards? Oh, definitely. Why do you wear that hat? Oh, because my head is cold. What's your hat say? Zion. Woo! Good job. Good on the toes. Good stuff. What's your name? Chris. Chris. All right. Arkansas. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> outfit. How'd you come up with the outfit? Outfit. Uh, it was what I didn't pack when I moved to Oakland yesterday. Have you ever worn a Razorback? Hell no. Where did you move from? I moved from San Francisco to Oakland. It was very exciting. What do you like the sound? Hell no. Mountains or ocean? Ocean. Preferably with mountains right next door. What, what? Your favorite beach? Uh, Shark Park Beach. What characteristics do you enjoy in a partner? What characteristics? Um, being very smart. Which one of Looney Tunes characters is your favorite? Uh, the California Condor that goes by. Luke. Luke. What's your superpower? Flight. Flight. Would you spy on people? Yes. Twinkies or snowballs? Twinkies. Who are invisible? Twitter. Reese's cups or dolphins? <laughs> Reese's with the whole thing in the middle and eat the peanut butter first. Monster. <laughs> what? Who? Who? I wouldn't do the same to a dolphin, okay? How do you who? eat Oreos? I uh, scrape the middle out and eat the cookie part and throw the shit away. Are there advanced civilizations smarter than us? Yes. Where? <laughs> On Pluto, and that's why we got rid of them as a planet. It's, it's, it's <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> What's your name? Javier, right? Javier. Yeah, that's right. All right. How do you spell that? J D I G. If you were invisible, what would you do? I would uh, run to uh, I, would, I would run to the White House. What would you do? Uh, see what's actually going on. <laughs> 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 what music is going on? What do you want to play? Sorry, what say what musical it? instrument would you want to play? Uh, the trombone. What do you think's going on at the White House? Shit's going down. Can invisible yeah. people still use Twitter? No. Do you think you're invisible? Capacitance. What's that? Do you think you're invisible? No. <laughs> Where did the name Twitter come from? Uh, from Bulgarians. Do you think those pants make your butt look good? Are <laughs> 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 yes. your glasses indestructible? <laughs> Thankfully. Where'd you go to college? Stanford. What did you study? Smart ass. <laughs> <It's> smart ass. Oh, airspace engineering. Yes, smart ass. Are you a rocket scientist? Yeah, I'm gonna pass out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so sick. The, um, the keys to the hotel is now located in the bag. Um, no, they're not in the bag. They're they're on the jacket. Oh wait, no, they're in my pocket. Okay, all right, okay. All right cool. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm fine. No, it's all good. I'll go and manage um, the, uh, for the next couple hours. I'll just text you. And, right. I might leave the door. And I will sure move that back. Off when I'll move it back too. Um, exactly. Can you um, leave it unlocked? Uh, yeah, leave the door unlocked. Yeah. Sorry. I'll move that back and put it on the desk and then we'll close that down. Get me through. Okay. Okay. Get some soup. All right, there we go. Good job. All right, last but not least. Who's your favorite person in the circle? <laughs> Everybody. Do you like frozen that? food? <laughs> Definitely. Did you know what Dent was before you got here? A little bit. What have you done in your life that you're super embarrassed about that you hope no one ever finds out? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your worst relationship you've been with? Um, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, David. Definitely. What would you do if you moved in next door? Uh, bring you a pie Th This David? Oh, no, David. <laughs> no, next door to that. I, I, if 
questions about Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I think uh, Did you make your skirt? No. Would you be passive aggressive friendly or like friendly friendly? <laughs> Avoidance friendly. Were you nervous about cutting your hair short? No. Do you think Donald Trump has any good characteristics? Mm, very few. What's his best characteristic? Um, your favorite. Relatable. Who'd you vote for? Not him. <laughs> Airplane or train? Train. Uh, train. Not train. <laughs> Are we in a computer simulation? I would like that to be the case. Why? Uh, less stressful. <laughs> Everything is meaningless. Uh, oh. Woo! Thoughts? Feedback? What did you guys think? Do you have to go? Sure, I'll go. All right, bring it on. <laughs> bring it on. What is the meaning of your life? To propel world peace and colonize star systems. Did you purposely try to weasel out of doing this yourself? No, because I want to see you guys in the middle, but I love doing this stuff. Do you enjoy watching people struggle in your circle? <laughs> no, because we try and help them. Because I started a science comedy show two years ago. If you're in the middle, stop beating your dog. I don't own a dog, and I do not recommend beating anything, except maybe yourself occasionally. If you're in the middle, do you ever stop? <laughs> I'm not concerned about that. This is, yes, could potentially be an infinite loop, yes. Black holes could potentially go into big bangs, etc. yes. Do orange shoes reflect any security? Orange shoes reflect eccentricity. What's your favorite science? I do really like astrophysics. Would you ever jump on a moving train? Yes, probably up until about 20 miles an hour. What if you only had one leg? Probably closer to 10 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite fundamental property of the universe? I do think, depending on the caliber of a maybe amount of neurons in, a, in that being, yes, it, it does. What's your favorite shirt? My favorite shirt is probably... I have a shirt of Neil deGrasse Tyson going like this. <laughs> do you own any handguns? No, and if you do, then be careful. Love or fighter? Love affair? Lover or fighter? Lover or fighter? Uh, lover and only fighting when it comes to helping people, I guess. What's the stupidest thing you did last week? Stupidest thing I did last week was... Um... <laughs> this is uh, this is where I fail. What was my stupidest thing I did last week? There we go. Good question. Good question. Good question. Good job. Good job. <laughs> exactly. I got bailed out at the last second. I should have made something up in that case. Exactly. I was trying to be honest through all those answers. But if you if you're if you, you some of you guys chose to be just random and that's good too. Um, if I would have been random there, that would have been perfect. I might have said something funny. All this kind of stuff. So, okay, great. What are we at? Two, ten. Okay. So, this, this last activity, very last one. Um, now, this is, this is probably the one that if we took away something from this activity tonight, I'd want us to take this activity away. So, um, let's start as a group and then we'll break off into slightly more intimate partners. Um, but this is kind of the thing that's kind of propelled me to be who I am today and it's because of knowing how to ask people deep thought-provoking questions you probably heard me say like a couple times like something about consciousness or something about being in a simulation or if genetic engineering is gonna how it's gonna impact the world and stuff like that so I care about these like societal driving questions but I also really care about the intimate questions about where are you from how many kids do you have what do you care about? What, what impact do you want to make in the world? So I want us to, um, do you guys have any questions like that that you want to share with the group that you love asking people when you first meet with them? What makes you you? What makes you you? That's a good one. Yeah. When I asked what's your superpower, you gave a, you know, oh, but everyone has to like, what are you really good at? Like, what's that thing that makes you unique? Yeah. That you have the unique value? Yes. What do you care about more than anything? Yeah. Yep. Why are you here? Why are you here? Mm -hmm. What was the greatest lesson you learned in childhood? That's a good one. Yes. Good stuff. 
what problems are you trying to solve? Yes, yes. See, you guys, uh, this is amazing. So these questions that float up to the top of your head right now in the circle, these are the questions that I would challenge you to start conversations with people about. It's totally okay to talk about the weather and the Super Bowl and stuff like that. It's totally cool. But when if you if you really want to figure out someone, you ask them why they are them. Like why are you you? And like what do you care about? What's the thing that's most important to you? Um, what problems are you trying to solve, etc. And by asking these questions, we typically go from surface level immediately down deep, and we start actually having the the deep conversations with people. So let's. Um, Let's break up into groups of two, and let's ask, yeah, in, uh, into, yeah, group pairs, into pairs, and then let's go, go right away, look them in the eyes, and let's have one of the two people just ask a very deep question, and then remember, you're, you're trying to follow up, so when they, somebody says, you know, when they ask, well, this is a really important part, pay attention, pay attention. I know you guys probably know this, but when they say, when you say, what do you care about, and they say maybe education, it's... You don't just say, okay, or cool, but you ask, again, why? Why education? What do you want to do in education? What impact do you want to make? That makes sense, right? So you're, you're continuing to deep, dig deeper and deeper. Are we on the same page? Yeah. yeah. Are we going to switch off after a while? Yeah, let's, let's, let's find a new partner, and then we'll switch off after a little bit. We'll come back. Okay. Okay, pair up, pair up. Ooh, okay, running across. Good, good. Awesome. I'm Josh. I'm great energy. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Maybe start. Okay. Well, we can do. Do you have a partner? Okay. This is good. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. No one else, right? Good. Okay. Yeah. Ray. That's right. All right. Come. Come. Let's let's take a seat. Let's take a seat. Let's do uh, a minute. Let's do a minute and then a minute to two minutes. Yeah, exactly. A minute to two minutes, then we'll switch. So what do you care about? My family. What impact do you want to make in the world? First, I was going to ask you. Good, good, good. <laughs> what impact do I want to make on the world? Um, I like. I run a number of companies, and I have my own law firm. I started one in 1994, and I sold that to my partners in 05. Started another one. I've helped a lot of startup companies. I'm an IP attorney. Okay. I helped a lot of startup companies start up, raise money, and things. And I think you know, going forward as I get older, I'd like to do more of that consulting work. Yeah. And just really let them you know, have others blossom around me rather than me actually doing the work. Is there a specific area of company that you really like, financial or biotechnology, or like, is there some sort of... Um, for technology-wise, my background is in communication systems and cell phones and things like that. Okay. But um, I have a client that makes condoms, vibrators, and sex loops. And awesome. And they're just a blast to hang out To hang out, it's yeah, like yeah. It's a different type of person that exactly. gravitates to a like that. Exactly, exactly. It's just really fun. Cool. So um, you have kids? I have three. Three kids. Cool. And you're happy? They're all happy? They're all happy and uh, mostly healthy. Good. Um, I have uh, I have a 25-year-old here in San Francisco that's a biologist at Genentech. I have awesome. a son that's at Georgia Tech studying computer science. And Amazing. And my daughter, which is the reason why I'm here, okay. uh, Jason invited me. Awesome. Um, we both sit on the Hydrocephalus Association board. Okay. So my daughter has hydrocephalus and his son has hydrocephalus. So... And remind me that, about that again, hydrocephalus. Um, it's, a, it's a fluid uh, drainage problem mm -hmm. for, your, um, for your cerebral spinal fluid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If you have a blockage anywhere in the path, because it comes from the center of your yeah. head, down your spine, yeah. your spine, around your skull, or around your brain, um, if, if any of that pathway is blocked, then you end up with a Paralysis backup, and then something. your brain starts getting squeezed from the inside, and you die. So how do you prevent the blockages? So you don't. My, my, my daughter had a, she had a hemorrhagic stroke when she was born, so her right temporal lobe doesn't work, but her left side took over. Straight A student, great SAT scores, uh, wants to go to Brown. Um, but uh, what they do is, is, is they drill a hole in your head and they put a tube inside Jesus. and then they put a valve on the back of your head. Oh it's a my valve, God. So when pressure goes too high, it dumps. And then oh you run a tube my down gosh! Your skin into your abdomen. Is this about a, a like a like a thousand people, ten thousand people it's in the U.S.? 
in the world? In the U in the US. In the US? And okay. It, you know, the issue is just it breaks down. That is insane. Very the great gratitude we have for what we have, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Hello, hello, attention, attention. Alright. Did you guys already switch between each other? No? Yes? You have? Okay. If Okay, if you haven't switched between each other, switch, but if you have already, find a new partner. Okay. All right, all right. So when, what impact do you want to make? So, so I think in order, this is something that I'm not completely sure about this yet, but in about 10 years when I'm of age, I want to run for presidency. And I don't know if the democratic election process is going to be the same as it is today, but I want to run on a couple things. The first thing is world peace, but without impeding innovation, I still want to have peace. And then the second thing is I want to focus on STEAM, so science, technology, engineering, art, math. I want to focus on that in the world. Third thing is I want to eradicate all suffering from the planet, as much eradication of suffering as possible. Um, the examples like your daughter um, are frequent in the conversations that I have with people. My child died early, my child, and this is just, this is just crazy. So there's so many things to help us analyze our bodies and prevent pathology from developing. And, we're, and so that's what I care, I care about that. And then um, another thing is meditation and spirituality, being able to connect to this, th thyself, mm -hmm. and the last thing would be to colonize other planets and stars. And, so, yeah. and so on the on the world peace part, there's yeah. like there's there's uh, pressure points around the world. That yeah, just, you know, like everybody hate each other and start shooting and killing each other. How would you solve some of those particular pressure points? That's a really good question, and I don't immediately have an answer. I'm willing to talk to other intelligent people around the world to try and figure out how to solve some of those pressure points, especially in, so since there are so many dozens of these pressure points, there are experts in those areas that know them much better. But the overall idea of, <clears throat> of awakening people to find a more meditative or peaceful state within themselves should at least help the general population gain a I, a better understanding and desire for peace, but that's a very generalization. The pressure points are very difficult, very complex. That's a great follow-up question. Yeah. And, and you know, you link spirituality with with world peace. And you know, one of the issues of the world is, is that we have religions that like to kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Issue. Yeah. Getting to that world peace part, you, you, know, you have to solve. There's a bunch of other issues. You know, energy is one. Exactly. Food supply. Exactly. Supply. Exactly. Uh, if you want to read a really good book, check out Clean Meat. Oh yeah, by have Paul Shapiro. That? Yeah, yeah, he's a That's friend. Weird. Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, wow. Good guy. I, I just, I just finished. It's good. A, it's a good read. Exactly. Uh, pretty yeah. Pretty straightforward. And yep. We'll exactly. Go a long way to solving some of these problems. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, of course, you have to get people to actually want to eat meat from a factory. Um, even though they eat all their other food from factories. <laughs> well, when it's absolutely indistinguishable, yeah, can't even tell. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I'm glad you read that. Good. <laughs> I'll have to let him know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Say I met someone at Dent who read your book. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw it. Um, it was... Uh, and you recommended it straight up. Like, it was like, you know, you t you related it to world peace, which is amazing. Yeah. You'll love that. Right. Yeah. Which is, which is yeah, part of what the uh, writing's about. about. Exactly. You know, I, I did like his, his spin or discussion about GMO, right? So, yeah. so there's a lot of issues with GMO on the, on the food side, being in the food chain. But then you look at GMO, in this case, you are modifying yeasts and other things to make the food. And so then there's the question, well, is that okay or not okay? Correct, it's correct. The philosophical that is a very interesting thing. Really interesting. If you make 60 edits to corn or wheat, or is it still longitudinally safe for humans to eat? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, everyone, come back in, come back in, come back in. Good stuff, good stuff. Come back in. Come back in. Uh, in, in, circle, circle. Back in the circle we go. You guys looking like great conversations happening. Back we go, back we go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, back we go. Good conversations. Come on, come on, back we go. Back we go, back we go. All right. All right, all right, all right. Focus, 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 focus. Come on, tight, 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 tighter. 
tighter, 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 even tighter, even tighter. This is good. This is good. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Get comfy. Get comfy. Okay. So this is the end of the session. Um, I'm happy that we were able to pass this time together. I love every single one of you so much. I'm trying to make eye contact with every single person. Um, so, um, wait. He's ditching us. Well, oh yeah, but the, the, here's the thing. I want you guys to be able to have fun and do other things. If you guys, oh, you just got some place to go. No, no, no. <laughs> I actually, don't. You know. Are you getting paid for two hours? No, I'm not getting paid for anything. <laughs> if you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nothing. 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 Yeah, you you get in the you middle of the circle. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the center. Who's for him staying at 3:30? Uh, seriously, if you guys say that you want me until 3:30, I will seriously stay until 3:30. I was. You're fine. Well. I was just trying to, no, really, I, does any, you guys actually want a show of hands? You're not going to offend me if you want to leave. That's why I was wanting. I'm, mir I'm just mirroring you. I'm oh, you're just mirroring me now. What was my plan? For us, for 3 to 3.30. Pretty much additional activities and um, going diving deeper into conversation and intimacy and, um, and then flow and stuff like that. And yeah, but yeah, but I, if you, Skits? We can do skits? I love skits. I'm, I'm an open person. I have no, like, we don't have to follow anything. Well, I'm, not, I'm gonna do whatever you suggest. So. No, but skits is amazing. Can I ask about a question? Yes. I'm unrelated, but what, why I signed up for this is I, I actually hate public speaking and I've been told that improv is, is the way to do that. Yeah. It's a good way to get over that. Yeah, you were right, in, you were right here. I don't like questions. I hate public speaking. Okay. So, but I'm just curious if with that being said, if there are any tips or anything before what, you leave. What, what is it regarding public speaking that you don't... I feel like talking at people. Wait, well, why does it feel like it's talking at people? Because they're not asking any questions. Okay, but what? why can't it feel more like teaching? Like sharing... Taught, sharing sharing wisdom, right? You have... You, you, the reason why you're giving a talk is because you're sharing something that other people might not know and they might want to care about. And when, once, we, once we take that perspective and we shift it from, from fear to beauty and to sh sharing and caring, then that, that energy in itself, that change in your physiology will change the way that you feel about speaking. Yeah. I'm really happy to, to, stick, to stick around and talk more about that. Um, that's a good question. It's probably not but, but, but it is. I mean, it's the, it's the launch point for me, right? Once I get into the into what I'm doing, it's like you hit that rhythm and it's like exactly. you're off. But it's just before stepping yeah. off that exactly cliff at the start. Have, have, it, have you guys experienced this? You know, when you've signed up to go do something, and then like it's like maybe 15 or 30 minutes before you're scheduled to like leave to go do that thing, and you're like, God, I just want to stay at home. I don't want to go. Right? You guys know the feeling? And then you get there and you start hanging out, and you're like, Oh, this is fun. Like I'm happy I left my house. I'm happy I'm doing this thing. You guys know that feeling? Board yeah. Games last night. Board games, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, th yeah, that kind of a feeling happens to just about everyone. Um, and sometimes it is better to, you know, stay at home and do some work or whatever you want to do, but it's also good to get out and do your thing. So, I I'm, I'm serious, I'm totally down to stick around another whatever 45 minutes or an hour, however long's left, I don't even know. What time is it? Um, yeah, it's an hour. Um, so, so I host and produce science comedy shows. So I have a guest scientist that comes in and gives a talk about a specific subject and asks the audience questions. Comedians will crack jokes through the whole thing. And then I produce these future festivals called World's Fair. So a bunch of people come in and play with AR, VR, drones, electric saber, 3D printers, and then there's a thousand seat speaker stage that goes on talking about the future of AI, future of gene editing, etc. And then I have a fireside chat series called Simulation. Um, does anyone know who Jordan Peterson is? Does anyone know who Jordan Peterson is? He's a culture critic. He's an interesting guy. You do? Oh. I'm hosting a fireside chat with him in San Francisco um, in a 600 seat theater. So it's like stuff like that is kind of, um, yeah, is what I do. And Listen, yeah. As a follow up to her question, yeah. my question is how does improve help me? My biggest challenge is not even getting started, is showing up. <laughs> but once I show up, it's okay. But how does what you've just done help me be a better public speaker or better connector with people, etc.? Great question. 
Yeah. I can add one thing. I've done yeah. improv as part of sort of innovation training things. Yeah. Where it's all about building on others' ideas. The idea is yes and. You yeah. Acknowledge what this person has just said and you build on it. You're not saying, well, that's dumb. You just take it and go with it. Yeah. And it's a very, that type of attitude to, in a group dynamic is you get to very interesting places. Yep. That, that, that's practice. huge. Yeah. It's huge. So all these exercises help you, like taking something and running with it, taking it a step further. Yeah. And it's also more kind.